This fruit not only tastes good, its leaves can make the fashion industry more sustainable and eco-friendly. Pineapple as an alternative to leather. Fashion designers are already using the material. This is not only striking a chord with big city trendsetters, but also with environmentalists who want to dispense with the business of tanning leather. Barcelona. The alternative material to leather is produced just a few hours' drive from the city. It was Carmen Hijosa from Spain who invented the eco-material, called piñatex. If we compare piñatex with leather, piñatex has a much better environmental credentials. It doesn't use any water, any land, any fertilizers. So it's really clean, and socially, it's got very strong ethical responsibility. At an intermediate stage of its production, the product resembles a felt-like fabric. By the end, however, Piñatex becomes an alternative to leather. Piñatex has very similar characteristics than leather. For example, it's uh, water resistant, it's breathable, it's very light. In fact, it's much lighter than leather and it's got very good tensile and tear strength. And this is really important because our clients need these technical characteristics. The Piñatex story began 30 years ago. At that time, Hijosa was working as a consultant for the leather fashion accessories industry. In the mid-1990s, she visited the Philippines at the invitation of the Product Development and Design Center. There, she was confronted with the appalling conditions in leather tanneries and was shocked. And I realized that leather is so unsustainable, it's toxic. It's a toxic production, it's toxic for people and the environment. And I saw it so clearly there at that time. So I decided absolutely there and then that I didn't want to work with leather anymore. From one day to the next, Hijosa gave up her business in the leather fashion accessories industry. But she didn't dwell on the end of her former career for long. While still in the Philippines, Hijosa developed an idea for a new business. I found this beautiful source of natural fibers, particularly the pineapple leaf fiber, which is uh, what they use traditionally to make these very, very light and very beautiful hand-woven garments like the um, Baron Tagalog, which is like a ceremonial uh, shirt. So that gave me an inspiration of what if I can use them as an alternative to leather? And it, it opened the door for a new invention. The Philippines. This is where the raw material for Hijosa's invention comes from. The pineapple plant, apart from delicious fruit, has very long fibrous leaves, which are the raw material for production. And that was what Hijosa wanted. She had the leaf waste collected, which would otherwise mostly rot or be burned, had its fibers extracted, washed, dried in the sun, and mechanically bonded together. Little by little, a felt-like fabric was created. From the very beginning, Hijosa knew that in spite of all the challenges, it would become an alternative to leather. Nevertheless, in the early stages of the invention, she struggled to convince others of the idea. I had this very strong vision that these fibers would have a solution for something that I was convinced it wasn't really good for the environment. So you continue, you are determined. So you've got to have a lot of determination to think I am going to do it and nothing is going to stop me. And this is really how it is when you want to develop something new. Carmen Hijosa had a plan. A lacquer-like coating could give the felt material the necessary properties to comply with market requirements and, at the same time, give the end product its color. Initial tests were promising. The material was quite similar to real leather in terms of water resistance, robustness and durability. But there was a fundamental problem. The coating initially consisted of 40% petroleum-based resins, something Hijosa wanted to avoid at all costs for ecological reasons. The first coating wasn't 100%, but 
I launched the product because if you don't launch the product, you don't test the market, you cannot go anywhere. I'm not just in a laboratory trying things. You know, I'm a maker. I want to put things out into the market. After several years of development work, Hijosa succeeds in reducing the proportion of petroleum-based resins to 5%, without the material losing its leather-like qualities. A big step forward in terms of sustainability. Equally important, there's no shortage of raw materials. According to Carmen Quijosa, over 27 million tons of residual biomass is discarded every year from the pineapple harvest. That alone could cover the entire current annual leather production for shoes worldwide, without using up additional land and other resources, says Carmen Quijosa. In 2011, Quijosa applies for a patent for Piñatex a key step on the way to the product's success. When you have an idea, a patent is really important because anybody can copy your ideas. This is the protection of an inventor. And second, when you build a business, you need money. And to get money, you need to get something to give to the investors, the intellectual property. And the patent is the main intellectual property of, of the business. Nearly 3,000 brands in 80 countries already use Piñatex, many of them from the fashion world. But numerous other industries are beginning to discover the new material as well. Quijosa's alternative leather, a combination of economic success and an ecologically and ethically sound product.